Okay, so this is the last video of our fireworks series, and it's the compositing. And we're just going to review the render that we, we produced from C4D and Cycles 4D. And um, we'll just jump into After Effects now and check that all out. Okay, so here we are in After Effects. And if I press, I've got this cached in the timeline already. We look at our render. And it came out really nicely. And so we can see those are the fizzling fireworks. And then our willows or chrysanthemums towards the end. Okay, nice. So that shot came out really nice. And I, I like the, the temperature, the heat that we're getting from the, from the fireworks. But we can definitely just uh, level it up a, a little bit more with some glows. And also uh, perhaps some sharpening. But... but We'll we'll see about that. Um, first off, let's deal with the glows. So I actually, if you recall from the last one, I actually decided to add this e emission pass. So you can see it's just showing me anything that emits light. And that's perfect, because those are the parts that we want to glow. So I'm going to add that back over to our, uh, on our uh, blending modes. I'm going to change it to add. And that's uh, now adding back into the scene. Now that's not doing anything apart from just uh, increasing the brightness of the sort of the, the bright, uh, bright colors here. So if I turn that on and off, you can just barely see that. What we really want to do is we want to blur and create some sort of blooming effects. Now there are some plugins that can do this very easily for you, but um, I figured I'd just do it without plugins and it makes it a little bit sort of simpler. So I'm going to just put that on our emission layer and I'm going to call this one uh, bloom large or, or bloom soft actually because it's kind of, basically it's it's not just the fact that it's a large blur so I'll leave that on at 100% at the moment and start to blur let's jump down to a bright part like let's go a bit earlier somewhere like that where we've got a good mix of stuff okay so you can see here if I as I expand it out, hopefully that's coming across on the recording, um, we get this nice sort of blooming around the um, the particles. And I want that to be kind of a quite a large, diffuse bloom. Just sort of as, as if it's hitting sort of the camera surface, as if the camera surface is very slightly smudged. And we can leave that at quite a high opacity. Already that just helps sell it a little bit more in terms of the uh, realism. And if I duplicate that one again, and we'll do bloom tight and open that one up. Um, let's do much, uh, a much tighter blur. Let's go to the end here. That's a nice one to do it on. There we go. And we just drop that down to 30 like that, or maybe 20. That's quite nice. And you can see it's creating this really hot center to these uh, these fireworks and, and they glow nicely when they first appear. We could even do like an intermediate bloom as well, but I think that's kind of doing it for us. If I go back to the beginning, make sure fireworks is readable. Yes and no. I think if we add some contrast to the bloom before we actually so if I solo this particular, the tight to bloom, and I just add like a Lumetri color correction. And I'm just gonna do some really basic, I'm actually just gonna clip it, I think. So I'll just grab the bottom of this curve and I'm just gonna clip it down like that. Might curve it as well. Again, if I unsolo that. Yeah, it's a bit nicer. Is that actually, I think that might be occurring after the blur. Yeah, I wanted it to happen before the blur. There we go. Okay, so that's looking pretty cool. And th that's the beauty of, you know, uh, a GPU engine like Cycles 4D is that we can, we've actually dialed in the look so much in the um, render that the compositing is actually quite... Uh, a quick uh, task. I mean, we could obviously, um, you'll need more complex compositing um, 
workflows if you're doing any like filming and compositing these fireworks into real footage. But for us, it was a, a 3D scene, so that's worked out quite well. And I'm quite happy with that that bloom. Uh, we could we could experiment with some sharpening, but I don't think that's going to enhance it too much. Um, let's go to let's go to this one here. Uh, I'm just going to grab the standard sharpen. Let's set a hundred zoom. I think that's going to crunch it too much. So if I drop it down to something like ten. I toggle that on and off. Ah, that's quite nice, actually. Makes them nice and crisp. I'm just going to go back here where it's... Yeah, the, the problem with sharpening is it can enhance any kind of subtle noise. In, noise. So we've got to be a bit careful with that. But I think that's, that's looking quite nice. Okay, I'm going to stick with that. And all that's left to do is perhaps... Um, uh, which we're not going to do in this this video. Um, I, I might add some sounds to it and we shall render it out as a full res file. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, we've created a firework system um, using X particles, of course, and it's versatile. We can create all sorts of different shapes. And then we also had a, a, a deep look at the rendering and how to extract data from, from the particles and use Cycles 4D to make it look really pretty. So thanks very much and I'll see you in the next tutorial.